there are situations like in automotive where connections are exposed to fluid, temperatures or weather and they must be protected. So the best idea is super seal connectors by TE Connectivity. Super seal connectors are mounted on cables and have one to six pins. Polyamide casings are compact, but they meet the IP67 requirements. They are completely resistant to dust and can be submerged in water for 30 minutes, one meter deep. These terminals can be used in a wide temperature range from minus 40 to 125 centigrade. This material is resistant to ozone, salts, gasoline, oil, brake fluid, and the worst of all, washer fluid. They work in installations up to 24 VDC and they meet requirements of DIN and IEC norms. When connected, terminals block with a click, so we can work really, really fast. Moreover, this red cap serves a secondary lock, which ensures proper mounting of the contacts and their alignment in the housing. This bright yellow material makes checking seal conditions very easy. Both have colors, where an additional seal can be mounted. If needed, the connector can be mounted on a panel with a special elastic clip that can be inserted between the two L-shaped guides. Once we learned about the characteristics of super seal connectors, we can try and build one if you want to pimp up your ride or implement any new features to it. Let's try and build a twin connector. To assemble a super seal connector, we will need male and female LMP super seal 1.5 series, appropriate sealing pin for wire, a twin wire, male and female contacts, two strain reliefs, super seal crimping tool by TE Connectivity and a stripper. Let's start with the wire. Make sure that the wire can go under operational conditions like temperature and current and check the dimensions of the core and the insulation. Because we are using AMP Super Seal 1.5 series connector, we need 16 gauge cable. Strip about 25 mm of the external insulation and about 4 mm from the core insulation. And at this particular moment you might face the problem, because if you are not using the appropriate stripping tool, just a kitchen knife, you might cut the core at the wrong angle, tear the insulation or just damage the strands. One question arises, should we pre-twist the wire before crimping it? Well, it is not recommended, as it can damage the core and weaken the joint. By twisting the wire, you can change the circular area of it, which is not supported by the appropriate tool. So, to make it better, you might tighten it gently to fit the contact. Just before we crimp, we have to make sure that we removed enough insulation from the wire. As you can see here, I think I did too much. I will check using the contact. Yeah, I did. So, I'll just have to cut it half. Okay. And don't forget about the seal, it's actually quite important. You just insert it, you push it in. Um, yeah, give me a second. As you can see, the wire sticks out. And then take the contact and make sure that the core and the seal are in the appropriate position. If yes, you might want to crimp. But don't forget about strain relief. If you want your contact to be as durable as possible, use it. Choosing the proper crimping tool is extremely important and we've got a few options, like a remote, pliers, roller skate, or the best in the market, TE Connectivity Super Seal Crimping Tool. In most cases, you have to crimp twice, like here, first time, a wire and a contact, and second time, a seal and insulation. But it's not the case here. Using a low-quality crimping tool can cause a lot of problems, such as a damaged, bent or twisted terminal. The crimping legs are not tight enough, or they are too tight and can pierce the insulation. In other cases, the wire can be bent, 
the cream barrel can get distorted or some of the strands are left outside the contact. So, if your contact is distorted in any way, don't use it, just throw it away because it can cause a lot of damage. And now that you know how to crimp correctly, it's time to assemble. Once you've got this part ready, take a female contact, put it on like this, take the crimping tool, insert into the mid slot and crimp. Crimp once. Ready. The next thing is to remove this red cap, take the contacts, slide them in and slide them deep enough until you hear the click. Then put the red cap again and do it like till the end. You can do the same with male contacts. You push it and it works. Done. Easy peasy. Like it or not, make sure you subscribe. The next are coming. If you need more information, read the description below and have fun.